Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff from Updated and today we have the fourth developer beta of iOS 15 available for install. So we're going to go ahead and check out what's new in beta four of iOS 15 and what's been fixed from beta three and also future release date schedules for like let's say beta five so we can determine when we should see that next beta. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we do, I just wanted to remind you all about the Apple Watch Series 6 month of July giveaway that's sponsored by Provado VPN. And that link is in the video description down below. Just make sure you are subscribed to us on the YouTube platform and also follow us on Twitter to enter and you are all set to go. All the information for that giveaway can be found at solo.to slash updated. Okay, so in beta three of iOS 15, we saw a ton of new features and smaller changes sprinkled across the UI of iOS 15, but there were also some bugs that came with that update as well. So let's go ahead and get into a few bugs that we noticed and we'll go over if they were fixed or not within this beta four update. Okay, so the first major bug that we noticed was a Bluetooth bug that was actually quite annoying because obviously most of us play music through Bluetooth devices. Now, what was happening to me and also a lot of other users out there is that the Bluetooth connection would completely cut in and then just cut right back out and um, would affect whatever media is playing. So you can see how annoying this might be, um, but so far in beta four, I've tested my iPhone with about like, I think four different devices um, that run all through Bluetooth. And after playing uh, different songs and different types of media with different apps, I can actually say that there aren't any issues present with Bluetooth at all. And it also seems like um, that Bluetooth bug that was kind of affecting us before in like the first couple betas, that's now gone as well. Now, next up, we had an issue with Find My not displaying approximate locations in the widget version of Find My. So currently, someone is sharing their location with me specifically, but unfortunately, it just remains um, as no location found. But when you go into the Find My app, that location properly updates. So um, really, it's just a simple refresh bug within the Find My widget. And uh, so far in beta four, I actually haven't seen that this bug has been fixed. It seems like this issue is persisting and there uh, seems to be no visible fix for um, this widget. So hopefully that's fixed in the near future. Now, the last major issue that I'm experiencing is a battery health or drain issue. Battery life does not seem to be necessarily too poor, but after installing iOS 15 betas, my battery health has gone from 98% to 92%, which is actually a pretty significant drop in performance. Now, typically in years past, my battery health is about 98% to 97% after a full year of use. And we're only three fourths of the way through the year here of having iOS uh, you know, 14 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So for those of you who don't update your phone every single year, this is a pretty major issue. And if you want to preserve your iPhone's battery health um, so that it'll last longer, I'd highly recommend downgrading to iOS 14 until this bug is solved. Um, so far, it doesn't seem like it is solved here in iOS 15, but I'll provide more updates as we know more. Now, moving on to the last issue, and it had to do with Spotlight. Quite simply put, Spotlight would just not work. It would completely freeze up and you just could not use Spotlight. Uh, now in beta four, that issue seems to be completely fixed and that bug is no longer a problem. Now, as far as like smaller bugs, like bugs with specific apps, it looks like the Bank of America app crashing issue is solved. Um, the settings app freezing up is now solved and the unresponsive display issue is also resolved as these were all issues um, that other users and myself were experiencing when using iOS 15 beta three. Okay, let's move on to the performance of the CPU and the GPU, and then we'll get into battery performance as well. The overall performance in beta four has actually been quite decent and it was also very uh, good in beta three. So far, the performance is quite steady between the CPU and GPU, and I'm having no issues with lags or stutters or anything like that, uh, no matter how intensively I use my iPhone across different apps and everything like that. So I'm very pleased with iOS 15 performance wise, but if you are running iOS 14, don't expect a monumental increase in performance when upgrading to iOS 15. 
Now, moving on to battery performance, and things have been really up and down over the past few weeks, as I've said in the last update video. Battery life has been quite good when using like um, the third and now fourth betas, but I still have to say that it's not as good as the performance that we saw in iOS 14. So we'll actually have to circle back and see exactly what's going on here and what improvements can be made, but it's holding steady for now and we'll continue to monitor, monitor battery life as we see more updates to the iOS 15 betas. Right now, not a major, major issue, but uh, does need some attention. Okay, so we have iOS 15 uh, beta 4 loaded up here. We'll go to general and then about, and we'll check out some further details about this update. Uh, software version, always, obviously iOS 15. Our build number is 19A5307G. And if we go farther down here into modem firmware, we actually do have updated modem firmware that's 2.08. .01. Now let's get into uh, some of the new features here uh, specifically for um, iOS 15. And if we go into um, the Apple Store, you'll actually see that this UI has been updated to reflect uh, kind of like this new UI that we're seeing here within the settings app. So um, everything is just a little bit more rounded. You can see that things are split up quite nicely. So um, these menus are split up. They're not all uh, kind of like grouped together and things just look a little bit more clean here within um, this, this uh, UI here within the app store. So um, it's really nice to see that this change has come. We've been talking about it for quite some time uh, being needed to uh, come to the app store. So there it is in iOS 15 beta 4. Now, if we go back to the settings app and then we go into the main menu here, you can see that uh, the notifications um, icon has now been changed to reflect a little bit more of what you should expect from um, kind of like a notifications icon. Um, so that's a little bit different there, um, a little bit more prominent. And if we go into this menu, uh, you can see that if you are screen sharing, let's let's say you're using like SharePlay, um, you can actually go into um, this setting here and allow notifications or not. So this is actually a really cool features. So, um, you know, like if you're doing a demo or anything like that, it would actually be really cool to uh, turn off notifications so that um, your audience is not uh, receiving those notifications as well on their screen, or it just doesn't show up on the screen. So that's a really cool added setting uh, to the notifications menu here in beta four. Now, another change, uh, if you go into uh, settings and then go into the control center and you add the uh, notes feature um, or the notes control center widget, um, you can see that the new uh, notes app uh, widget has now changed. So the icon is completely different than we had before. Um, just a little small icon change you can see there, um, nothing major, but that icon has changed. So it will look a little bit differently than what we are seeing in beta three. Now, if you go and add a widget here, um, we can go to, uh, let's go ahead and add a, a smart stack. Um, so if we add a smart stack widget here and we go into edit this smart stack, you can actually see that uh, we have something a little bit new here. So we have new icons at the bottom. Smart rotate, that it is a new icon within um, this, uh, this UI here. So that animates accordingly and uh, shows you exactly how that is going to work. And then widget suggestions, um, all of these animations are completely new and so are the icons. So um, just a few different uh, kind of UI changes here within the uh, widget, uh, like smart um, widget uh, page, just uh, kind of changing all the smart settings there. So um, things just look a little bit better as far as functionality within um, this smart stack, everything works the same. It's just um, those animations and widgets have changed just very slightly here in beta four. Now, if we go into the focus menu and we start setting up a focus, let's go ahead and uh, set this up here, allow none. Um, that's just a blank option there. If we go into uh, like other apps and we have a time sensitive notification, uh, we actually now have a new icon for time sensitive notifications. So I'm um, just alerting you as to um, what that icon means and uh, or what time sensitive means. It's just giving you uh, kind of like a brief glyph there um, for, for the time sensitive uh, materials. So um, they have added an icon for time sensitive material and that does actually display when you get a time sensitive uh, notification on your device. 
Now, if we go into Safari, we actually have a very new look and feel to uh, what exactly is going on um, with this toolbar here. So this toolbar has changed drastically from what we saw in uh, beta, um, let's see here, it was beta one where we really saw the major changes to Safari um, across all platforms, that being Mac OS, um, iPad OS, and everything like that. So now on the bottom toolbar, um, that will disappear when we swipe down, but when we swipe back up, it will reappear. That's always been like that. But what has changed is actually um, what's going on within this toolbar. So we have backwards and forwards buttons um, here on the left-hand side. That is new specific to this update. We have a new um, refresh uh, or kind of like refresh the page uh, icon there. So we can go ahead and tap on that and um, that will refresh the page. And then also if we go ahead and uh, hold on this, we can uh, copy that, that website and we can add it to our bookmarks or anything like that. Um, so that's how we'll go ahead and add that. And then also, the, as you saw, the translation uh, settings showed up here. If we go ahead and uh, refresh this page, the translation settings, translation available, we can go ahead and tap on that um, to translate the page. Now this icon here has been uh, changed from the three dots to now the share icon. So now we have a faster way to uh, share our pages here. And obviously um, you can just go ahead and do all that through this menu. Now we still have the reload um, setting there. So we can of course reload from there as well. If you could just go into share reload, um, but reloading here, just a way faster method. And as well, um, you know, we have that dedicated share button, which I think everyone wanted because it's just easier to uh, share through that versus go through those three dots. Now, something else that I noticed specifically for iOS 15 uh, beta four is that um, the text, uh, that kind of like the text recognition within a photo is actually working a lot faster here. So if we go into um, the, the settings here, you can see um, all the information about that. Um, but typically on the bottom right hand corner, um, if the picture, if uh, iOS notices any text within this picture, you can go ahead and tap on this and you can actually export that text from the picture. And this is actually working a whole lot faster from beta 3 to beta 4. Beta 4 seems to have just a lot better performance when it comes to these AI tools built within the Photos app and obviously um, built into the camera app as well. So do expect better performance when it comes to text recognition within photos um, and also live text recognition when you're uh, going ahead and uh, trying to uh, get text from live photos. Okay, so let's move on to future release schedules. Now, as far as I've always said in the past, Apple doesn't veer too far off from when they release uh, new betas from previous years, like that being the schedule pretty much remains the same. So with that being said, I think we have a pretty good idea as to when we should see the next beta release. Now, according to past history, we should see a beta five in about uh, one to two weeks, more uh, more along the lines of like, if there's a larger update, uh, we should see that maybe next week, August 2nd, or the week after if there's like a larger update, August 9th. We also have a public beta release as well, which typically uh, releases a day after developer betas. So definitely stay up to date on when those are released through our Twitter account or the YouTube community page. So guys, that was iOS 15 beta four and all of what you need to know about this specific release. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comment section down below. Or if you have any further information you'd like to add, you can mention it down there as well. Like any information pertaining to this update. Now, if any of you wanted to hop onto the developer betas right now, make sure to check the link in the video description down below uh, for more information on that. But if you uh, do want to wait uh, for the public beta coming out tomorrow, or you just want to install the last available public beta, you can go to beta.apple.com for more information on the public betas. Now, before you go, don't forget about that super awesome Apple Watch Series 6 giveaway by heading over to solo.to slash updated. Again, a super awesome Apple Watch Series 6 giveaway. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on the updated YouTube channel. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some other things that we have going on, check the channel information link down below. It's solo.to slash updated. You can check out our channel memberships. 
our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week. That podcast is called The Infinite Loop, and we talk about everything going on in the world of tech. Also, we have links to our giveaways sponsored by awesome companies like Provado VPN. So definitely check those out as well. We'll have a new one every single month. So guys, thank you again for watching today's video and we hope to see you guys in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.